What a crazy headline. Look at this. Dozens of girls collapse at Colombian school after playing with Ouija boards. Two were hospitalized with underlying medical conditions. They're believed to be able to communicate with the dead. It gets worse. 11 children in Colombia collapse at school after playing Ouija board. Young people are using Ouija board. They're being taught about witchcraft, magic, the new age in the schools. What a crazy headline. Look at this. Dozens of girls collapse at Colombian school after playing with Ouija boards. Now we've talked a lot about exposing the occult, exposing the new age, exposing, exposing witchcraft. And as you guys have heard us say before, this is dangerous stuff. These Ouija boards are no game. Even though they're made by Hasbro, they invoke demonic spirits. They invoke demonic powers. Look at this story here. Dozens of girls have been hospitalized, hospitalized after collapsing while playing with Ouija boards at a school in Colombia. And I did multiple websites. This is the Daily Mail and a lot of reputable news sites covered this, including Fox and others. The students were rushed to the hospital after having lost consci consciousness with anxiety after using these boards, also known as spirit boards, which are used to contact the dead. Extremely dangerous. And I'll talk about divination, how Saul engaged in this after that I cover this news story, and this is not the only news story. There's actually another time this happened in Colombia. The school's director and concerned teachers went with students to hospital while they're waiting for update on their condition. One mother who worked at the hospital urged parents to act and investigate what's happening at the school after the news broke. And this is one of the students who was getting carried after they say was unwell after playing the Ouija board. He, um, Hugo Torres, head of the Galeris Educational Institution in Pasto, Southern Colombia, said there were 28 possible cases of anxiety in school students. Given the reported case, a series of comments were unleashed in the community that rather than helping to resolve the situation led to confusion and an adverse env environment for our work. For this reason, INIGA is, all, is allowed to report that the students were referred to the local mu municipal hospital during protocols in place. And then look what it says here. Uh, I lost my place. In place. Directors and teachers accompanied the students during the evaluation process. The respective parents and guardians were informed of the situation at the time. The school is waiting for more medical reports providing an update on the incident. And then he talks about two were hospitalized with underlying medical conditions. He clarified the school is waiting for medical diagnosis to provide further reliable information. Many parents believe the children have been using Ouija boards in class. And yes, you guys don't know, this is happening in our school districts. This is happening in our schools. Young people are using Ouija board. They're being taught about witchcraft, magic, the new age in the schools. And I tell people this all the time, do whatever you can to get your kids in private school, to get them homeschooled. Sending them off to public school in any place is a, is a bad idea because you don't know what they're being taught. And some of you might say, oh brother, you're just being religious. I'm telling you this stuff's happening and this stuff is dangerous. Parents, you have to move, investigate what's happening at our school because our children cannot continue in this situation. And then one mother complained, I work here in a hospital kiosk and every day I see three or four children arrive after fainting. Our children have always had good breakfast and it cannot be said what's happening due to a lack of food. So they're saying don't blame this on a lack of food or, or what's going on with the kids' health because this is directly tied to the Ouija board here. One mother complained, okay, I said that. Meanwhile, the local authorities have yet to confirm whether investigation is other, underway. Ouija boards were invented by spiritualists in the United States in 1886. Commercial version followed in 1890 and remained popular ever since. They're believed to be able to communicate with the dead. Numbers and letters are arranged on the boards, allowing a spirit to spell out a message uh, for the living by moving a slider planchette over the engravings. Okay, so this is crazy. This is breaking news. 28 hospitalized. Now, was it they were hospitalized because a demon entered into them? It's likely. Was it hospitalized because they were scared? That's also likely. But just know that when you're engaging in these activities, you're opening them up the door for demonic spirits. You're invoking demonic spirits. You're inviting demonic spirits. The devil uses this as a vehicle to speak to people, to instill fear and to also demonize. So it's possible they were demonized. Demons entered into them, causing their body to react with anxiety, fear, shaking, heart palpitations, chest pain. These are all symptoms and things that happen when a demon enters into you. Now, it gets worse, because look at this other article I found. 11 children in Colombia collapse at school after playing Ouija board. Now, this was in November 12th, 2022. In an extremely peculiar incident, a group of students collapse, collapse at a school in Colombia after using a Ouija board to contact the dead, according to The Independent, which is a news source. The teachers, okay, go into it, ages 13 to 11, listen to this, passed out in a corridor. This student suffered violent vomiting, abdominal pain, and muscle spasms. Okay, these are all normal things that happen in deliverance, and people report these things happen when a demon enters into you. Now, not everyone knows or when a demon enters. Okay, we don't get always like, oh, a demon just entered me. 
but there's been many people that said they've had a sharp pain in their chest. They felt something change. I remember before I was saved, I don't know if a demon entered me or not at the time, but I felt a dark presence right next to me one day. And that could have been the time a spirit actually entered my body. But I had some of these experiences before I was saved. And this absolutely happens. And the medical reports, the doctor said the student suffered from food poisoning. However, the mayor, so this is the mayor of the city, stated that the Ouija board was not ruled out. And this is part of an ongoing investigation. The children were passed out at the time they were found. They were short of breath and a thick drool was coming out of their mouths. Now, I don't know about you, but I've had food poisoning many times and I was never short of breath and I didn't have thick drool coming out of my mouth. So again, was this from the Ouija board? Was this from demons? We don't fully know, but we do know these kids were passed out in a quarter. To me, it sounds like it was the Ouija board and demonic spirits. It is not ruled out that it was the Ouija board that is part of the investigation. Others said they consume water from the same container. Okay, so it goes on and on. So they don't know, was it a Ouija board? Was it food poisoning? Uh, I will tell you right now, this stuff is absolutely dangerous. This stuff is absolutely deadly. Witchcraft is no joke. And I'm going to talk to you. What does the Bible say about witchcraft and divination? This is absolute stuff we should stay away from. Now, there is a biblical account of this happening in Scripture. If you look at... Uh, 1 Samuel 28, chapter 28, verse 7, when Saul called the witch of Endor. Look what it says here in 1 Samuel 28, verse 6. And when Saul inquired of the Lord, the Lord did not answer him, neither by dreams nor by prophets. Then Saul said to his servant, seek me a woman that has a familiar spirit that I may go inquire of her. Now, very interesting because Saul had already put all the witches out, but because the Lord didn't respond to him, he went and seeked a witch to gain supernatural knowledge. And oftentimes, because of our lack of encounter with God and culture and the church, we seek Ouija boards and divination and psychics and mediums because we're not encountering God. We go to these other things when God's not answering us because of our disobedience. Now, Saul was in disobedience, so God wasn't responding to him. Now it says, now because the Lord didn't answer him, he seek, uh, okay, seek witches. Saul was basically trying to contact Samuel who had already died and Saul was going to use a witch as his medium. It's very debatable whether Saul actually talked to Samuel or he talked to a familiar spirit or is a spirit of the dead. But from the research I've done, from historians I've read and scholars, it's pretty clear he actually did invoke Samuel. And for whatever reason, God allowed him to speak to Samuel. This was before the cross when Jesus brought up all the old saints from the Old Testament. But that's a different video for a different day. Now, the woman replied to him, who is it I should bring up for you? And he said, bring up for me, Samuel. And then look at verse 12. When the woman saw Samuel, okay, so it doesn't say she saw a spirit. She says, when the woman saw Samuel, she cried out loudly. And the woman said to Saul, why have you deceived me? You are Saul, the king said to her. Don't be afraid by what you have, by, but what have you seen? The woman replied to Saul, I've seen a, div a divine being coming up from the ground. And he said to her, what is his appearance? And she said, it's an old man coming up. He's wrapped in a robe. Then Saul realized, this is in your Bible. Saul realized it was Samuel and he bowed his face toward the ground and kneeled down. Samuel said to Saul, again, some say it was actually Samuel. Some say it was a spirit, but it, the Bible says right here, Samuel said to Saul, doesn't say a spirit. It says Samuel said to Saul in verse 15, why have you disturbed me by bringing me up? Saul replied, I'm terribly troubled. The Philistines are fighting against me and God has turned away from me. He does not answer me anymore, not by the prophets nor by dreams. So I called on you so you could tell me what to do. Verse 16, Samuel said, why are you asking me now that the Lord has turned away from you and has become your enemy? The Lord has done exactly what I prophesied because before Samuel prophesied, before Samuel died, he prophesied to Saul this was going to happen. Since you did not obey the Lord, verse 18, and did not carry out his fierce anger against the Amalekites, the Lord has done this thing to you today. The Lord will hand you over and Israel over to the Philistines. Tomorrow, both you and your sons will be with me. The Lord will also hand the army of Israel over to the Philistines. And by you and your son being with me, he's saying, you're going to be dead. Just like I'm dead right now, you're going to be dead. Again, this was before the cross. And then look at what First Chronicles chapter 10, verses 13 and 14 says. This is what it says about the death of Saul. So Saul died for his transgression, which he committed against the Lord, even against the word of the Lord, which he kept not. And also, this is why he also died, for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of her and inquired not of the Lord. Therefore, he slew him and turned the kingdom unto David, the son of Jesse. So Saul died for his disobedience and Saul also died for uh, inquiring of the witch of Endor. This is what the Bible says about witchcraft, Ouija boards, uh, wizards, familiar spirits. Leviticus 9.31. Regard them not that have familiar spirits. Do not seek wizards and do not be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. So the Bible says don't go to mediums or wizards. Don't engage with familiar spirits and don't inquire of them. And anyone who is a medium using a familiar spirit, if, 
to gain information is of the devil. They're using the devil. And then necromancy goes hand in hand. This is, you know, communicating with the dead, asking the dead for information, looking for manifestations from dead loved ones or dead family members. These are all familiar spirits. It's not your dead grandma, not your dead loved one. These are demons that are impersonating them and are familiar with them. And if you don't know, divination is another form of witchcraft. In Acts 16, 16, it says that they went to prayer a certain slave girl possessed with the spirit of divination met us. And the Bible says she brought much profit to her masters by fortune telling. And then Acts 16, 17 says, and the girl followed Paul and us and cried saying, these men are servants of the most high God who claim to us the way of salvation. So she's the first one to recognize who Paul and Silas really were. She didn't know that by God's spirit, she knew that by a, divina a divination spirit, a fortune telling spirit. Again, divination is gaining information using sources other than the Holy Spirit, using demonic spirits. A fortune teller will sit and read your fortune as a demon's behind their shoulder, in their ear, telling them things about you. Because the demons know about you, they're familiar with you. So fortune tellers, mediums, psychics, use familiar spirits. It's absolutely dangerous. Divination includes things like fortune telling, palm reading, crystal balls, tarot cards, angel cards, tea leaves, handwriting analysis, um, Ouija boards, ESP, Kabbalah, clairvoyance, voodoo, horoscopes, astrology, these are all things you should stay away from. These are not a game. In conclusion, let me say this. Do not try and seek knowledge from demons, wisdom or power from demons. The only time I'll ever talk to a demon is during deliverance when I'm driving it out. Other than that, it's not your dead relative. It's a familiar spirit. These Ouija boards are causing people panic attacks, anxiety, because demons are entering them. Let me say that again. Demons are entering them. This is no game. This is no joke. 28 girls hospitalized with anxiety. 11 people found in a corridor, 13 to 17, drooling out of their mouth and in a full-on panic attack. So this is happening right now. Be aware of what your kids are doing. Be aware of what your kids are playing. Show your kids this video. Let them know the dangers. Make them scared of it. it sh they should be scared of it. So if you've played with Ouija boards, I just pray right now that the Lord would deliver you with this power. We just command every unclean spirit and every unclean power that has come into you through witchcraft or the Ouija boards, we command those spirits to come out in Jesus' name. You have no power. The people listening to this are not your home. You must pack your bag, Satan. Get out of these people now in Jesus' name. And I just say over you, be delivered, be free in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spirit must go. And guys, you can find full deliverance if you go to isaiahsalibar.com slash deliverance. We have a map of 2,000 people. You can contact people on the map in your area and they will come do deliverance on you. If you want to see more content like this, let me know in the comments down below what do you think. Was it food poisoning or was it a demon? I would say it's probably a demon. This is no game, no joke. Let's blow the trumpet. Let's sound the alarm. The Bible says, do not engage in the unfruitful works of darkness, but ex instead expose them. So share this with a friend or family, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys in the next one.